Hey, Jay here, we got an older CRF uh, 150F. Uh, this bike's about 15 years old. My buddy just picked it up and we're fixing it up for Pingree, actually, for his girl or wife or somebody. Anyway, front brake didn't work. Um, it was Simon's bike and he didn't take too good care of it. This was all blown out, so we just rebuilt it. I'm gonna give you some tips on that. We used the All Balls uh, Master Cylinder Rebuild Kit, rebuild this thing. We could have done the bottom also, the, the caliper, but usually the problem's always here, typically. So that's all we did is rebuilt this on here. And we're gonna give you a little tips on that. It's really difficult to show you exactly all the steps, but I'll give you some tips on how to do that. Um, and again, you know, there was nothing at the brake, the fluid was gone, so we kind of knew something was wrong. Pulled off this rubber cover and we saw that there was a bunch of residue in there where it had been leaking for years. And so just rebuilt this. So here's a look at the tools you'll need. I got a contact cleaner, brake fluid, I put in this little container so I can pour brake fluid on the new seals. Uh, I got a Phillips, an eight, a 10, basic stuff to take it all apart. As you can see in this photo, uh, the plunger, we reuse the same plunger. It has a spring, and it comes with a new spring, a new clip. Getting this clip out is one of the tougher things. You can try to do it with a pick like this, but typically you're gonna need some snap ring pliers. You have to turn it to where you can get it on the outside of the, uh, when you have the master cylinder in your hand to be able to get it to collapse and get it out. Putting it back in is not nearly as tough, so you just gotta collapse it a little bit and you can push it in and then get it, get it to click in. And then when you get it to click in, you wanna make sure it turns. So as, as you can see in the picture, you have these, these are the two seals that will go bad. One's got a bigger diameter than the other one. And that's gonna go on further. And what I use is a pick like this to walk it on. When you look at the thing, if you've never done one of these before, you think that it can't fit. But these things stretch out just enormously. So you walk it on and you make it sure. I take a photo of it first so you see the direction that it points so you don't forget when you're doing this. And just look at your photo before you take the old ones off. And just walk it on there like so. And get it all the way on and it'll be pointing in that direction. You'll have your spring on just like so. With those tools, also when you go to assemble it back together, put a little bit of brake fluid on these seals and in, after you clean off the inside of the uh, master cylinder plunger area the, pist the where the plunger piston would go in, contact clean it out and then put some brake fluid in there so that it's uh, good, good and easy flow. So that's about all there is to it. Um, this would be about the same on almost all current bikes with a, with a um, disc brake, you know, master cylinder front. This is the same as a current Honda. This, 3 has got the same brake basically as a 2018. So simple deal. The All Balls kit's pretty inexpensive and easy way to do it.